First of all, uh, you, you, nobody should call themselves a professional if they knew only one language. And, and five is a, is, a, is a good number for languages to know reasonably. just because you're interested, because you've read about them, because you read a couple, uh, wrote a couple of little programs for experimentation, but five isn't a bad number, somewhere between three or seven. Um, let, let's see, sort of the, my, my list is going to be sort of uninteresting because it's going to be the list of languages that are best known and, and, and useful, I'm afraid. Let's see, C++, of course, uh, Java, um, Maybe uh, Python uh, for, 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 for mainline work. Uh, and if, if, if you know those, you can't help know sort of a little bit about Ruby and JavaScript. You can't help knowing C because that's the, the, the fills out the domain and of, and of course C sharp. But again, these languages create a cluster so that if you, if you knew either five of the ones I said, you would actually know the others. Um, I, I haven't cheated with the numbers. I rounded out a design space. Uh, it would be nice beyond that to know uh, something uh, quite weird outside it, just to have a, an experience. Uh, pick one of the functional languages, for instance. That, 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 that's good to, to, to keep you, uh, your head spinning a bit when it needs to. Um, I, I don't have any favorites in that uh, field. There's, there's enough of them. And uh, I don't know, if you're interested in high, high performance uh, numerical computation, you have to look at one of the languages there. But for most people, that's just esoteric. Mm -hmm.